hi, long time no see. Um, for those of you who do not know what this is, uh, take a wild guess. This is cabbage. See the flowers? It's starting to bolt, and then you have uh, cabbage leaves. Uh, most people, when they when they have not tried to grow something like cabbage as a biennial, will uh, we'll never see something like this. This is actually better, better than um, cauliflower or broccoli okay? because it's got a very tender. Look at it. Look at how tender the stem is. This tender stem is very tasty. It's much better than leaves. And most of you who have never tried good cabbage leaves have to try this. This is very tender. It's unlike unlike those. Of, uh, unlike those cabbages that you, you can buy from the um, supermarket, this is so tender. It's so different. It's very different. Um, so, what's what's the uh, trick to get the cabbage stems? Well, the trick is to let it grow for two years. And another trick is, you don't, you don't let it grow for two years, but then you grow it during the fall or late winter. Okay. So, or you can start. The seeds um, inside, and then put it outside in a in a uh, greenhouse or something, or uh, something like a cold frame, so that it will receive some coldness. It will think that it has overwintered. So in that case, it will grow stems. So stems are actually much better than the leaves. It's so tender. See, see how tender it is. Very flexible, very tender. Unlike those uh, that you can buy from the supermarket. Uh, so other basica family. Uh, members uh, that are biennial, biennials are something like collard greens, Russian kale, kale, let's say natto kale, and so on and so forth. Um, so I can just cut the top part and then it will go grow branches. So eventually I'll end up with a lot of taint, very tender, delicious stems. So, uh, so much for biennial cabbage. So I'm signing off. I'll see you next time. Bye.